Hey, I'm Andrew Hall. In 2014, I put out a book called VHS A My Brain, all about collecting VHS tapes and appreciating its dead format and the weird stuff that it brought to pop culture. And what's happened in the last 10 years in terms of the scene, collecting VHS and people's awareness and perception of it. And I love sequels. So guess what? It's tape time again. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Planet Hex, I'm Andrew Horn. This is a show where I talk about a lot of VHS tapes, a lot of retro goodies, music, games, comics, the writing life, and a lot of other stuff like that. You may have just seen, I hope you've just seen, the trailer for VHS Sent My Brain 2, The Revenge, which is out very soon. Look out for that, money's on that coming very soon. I'm sorry it was delayed, I was ill for a lot of like January and half of February this year, which really put me back on the, on the schedule for that. It really held me back. So um, I'm fine now, I'm fine now, so I'm... Uh, working on getting that out to you there's formatting and editing and all kinds of stuff going on but it's looking good and i think you're going to like it when it arrives so i'm looking forward to getting that out there for you it's going to be so cool so i've been revisiting some, some stuff this week as i uh, showed you in the previous video like this i did i um, picked up a copy of big trouble in little china which was sealed uh, on dvd so i've rewatched that i had a uh, john carpenter double bill actually so i had uh, they live and big trouble in little china back to back in one night and what a night it was it was so good i'm glad i did they live first cause it's a little bit more serious than big trouble in little china keep the pace going what a great evening that was it was it was exactly what i needed one i've not seen so much and i picked up was it the frighteners uh the peter jackson movie the frighteners it's uh, not one i'm that um i've not one i've seen that many times but it's a nice addition i found in uh, in sue rider um so Tons of special features on there. Absolutely loads of stuff on this two discs, uh, two disc director's version. Um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. I've not gone through the extras yet. I'm looking forward to doing that. And I've picked up some tapes for the first time in quite a while. Um, I got um, got some Star Trek and some other regular ones. What's interesting about the, I wasn't going to really get any any Star Trek VHS. Uh, I had loads of them in the back in the day. I had uh, Next Gen, DS9, and Voyager. I had absolutely tons of those back when it was all you know two episodes per tape. Saw so these. I got three three editions of DS9 episodes. No great thing there. So I've got Volume Five, One, Five, Eleven, and Six, Eleven. Yep, cool episodes on them. We've got uh, The Reckoning, Valiant, Soldiers of the Empire, Children of Time, Apocalypse Rising, and The Ship. So there's some decent episodes there. But these are all sealed so all three of them are sealed i was really pleased to get hold of these but i don't know if i'm going to open them should i open them and be the only person that's ever watched them that would be really cool something i did enjoy about the uh, the ds9 sleeves as well was that the the inside of the sleeves of the videos had some stuff about the episodes or you know some of the lore inside and i always enjoyed that and um these uh, all the sealed tapes have still got like the the giveaway things and the, the promotional things inside so that was really cool so i wanted those in my collection so if i crack them i know i've been the only person that has ever played them so uh, yeah i thought that would be that would be kind of cool uh, been out and about this weekend we've been buying comics we've been buying posters we're souping up the kids rooms a bit and we've been eating a lot of noodles we've been in a lot of restaurants and so on uh, so it's been good what was in this one Oh yes, the Starfleet Academy on PC CD-ROM advert in the back of this one. That's so fun. I remember the, the thrill of taking these off. Um, free first contact poster offer. There you go, the first contact poster offer in there. That's awesome. I remember taking the um, the, the all the wrapping off when I was, used to get those as a kid and be so excited by it. Used to mainly get them from our price in Meadow Hall in Sheffield. And... Um, I remember they would they would often play the latest ones in the shop. So I'd go in, oh, the new DS9 there. And I'd be really excited. And always end up walking out with one. So it was uh, an exciting, if expensive, time to be a teenager for me anyway. So I picked up four other um, sell-through tapes. So mass market tapes. They're not X-Rentals, but the stuff I wanted back in my collection that I previously had in my collection that I sold off in The Great Purge. That I refer to as The Great Purge, otherwise known as The Massive Mistake especially when selling off tapes like 
Neon Maniacs and Video Dead and things like that. And I'll never get those back at the price I, I want. But hey, anyway. So in this batch of four um, that I got from my Facebook group, I got a great double bill of Rutger Hauer movies, Split Second and Wedlock. Two of my favorite movies of his from the, the video rental era on a marvelous double feature tape. Very, very long tape. So I'm looking forward to revisiting those, especially Split Second. I've seen it online, I've seen a digital version, but for me, it has to be on tape. I just, that's how I enjoy it the most. Now, don't laugh and don't judge. One of my favorite 80s movies is Flashdance. What a feeling. <laughs> I, I love this film. I love this film. I saw it when I was just getting into movies. Uh, it's one of the first times I stayed up late and watched a film and uh, didn't really get what it was all about. But I've, since since then, I've you know, I, I get it now, of course. I've seen it many times. Um, it is very much a product of its time. It's not something I would think would get made now, not in the same way anyway. And I try to view all things through the lens of the time rather than trying to um, put stuff from today in it. So it, it wouldn't work today. It wouldn't work today at all. There's a lot that is questionable in this movie, but I really loved it at the time and I wanted it back on tape. I've got it on DVD. Um, I've got a special edition on DVD. Oh yeah, let's sit uh, inside the case for Flashdance. There's got the adverts for some other movies in there and there's some quality stuff in there. Um, there's uh, it's Pretty in Pink, A First Beatles Day Off for a start, Days of Thunder, Clueless, um, Tommy Boy, not really my thing. Uh, I'd never seen 200 cigarettes. It's also got Footloose in there. And um, I like Footloose, not one of my favorites. Um, great soundtrack though. So another one from this batch, which was awesome, which is Lady Dragon. One of my all time favorite Cynthia Rothrock movies. Love this film so much. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a more extreme karate kid in that, but she starts off as a martial arts expert, but then is injured and um, meets like a, a Mr. Miyagi type character and a young boy who help nurse her back to health and build her strength up and a martial arts prowess so then she can go and get the baddies in a really cool showdown. But this is one of those weird tapes where um, the uh, distributors, who is this Video Gems, weren't quite sure what to do with Cynthia Rothrock. So the picture from the cover is that one uh, where she's getting ready to fight and on the front they've tried to recreate it and put her body on someone else in a really bad cut and paste job. Why? Cynthia's awesome. Great film though, great film. Underrated, underrated film. And last one from this batch, before we go and check out what's going on on eBay, I got Dark City. I love this movie. Alex Proyas did such a good job with this. Um, it reminds me, it has always reminded me of a lot of early sci-fi stories from people like Frederick Pohl. Um, there was one, I think it was called The City at the End of the World, I think, um, that had a lot of Dark City sort of vibes to it. And just a great film, a classic sci-fi story shot in a really creepy manner. Really, really love this film. Always recommended. I can't wait to revisit this. Right, all that said, let's go and check out some tapes on eBay and see what's going on with those prices. Right, let's see what we've got. I've got this set to X Rental Horror Bundle. I'm gonna see what we've got in some bundles and see if they're, they're worth the price that they are that is being asked of them and see what I can find hidden away. Hopefully something good hidden away in some of these. Let's take a look. Uh, top one, we've seen that one before, the Psycho 4 Copycat 2019 and Robocop 3. It's got Robocop 3 in it, so no. Um, this one looks a bit more interesting, it's $49.99. Um, and it's got Sometimes They Come Back, Sleepwalkers, Rage Carry 2, which I like. Uh, Lord of Illusions, yes. Um, Lawnmower Man, Dark Half Cube and Children of the Corn 2 and Anatomy. Never saw Anatomy, I don't think. Let's have a look at the, the state those tapes are in. Let's open that one up. Um, got an interesting one there uh, that has a platoon, Indiana Jones, um, is it Temple of Doom? I can't see from here. Um, Fatal Attraction and Crocodile Dundee. So let's have a look at the, the, the uh, state those are in. Gone on with that Rocky IV. Is that a cut cover? Weird. The Cocoon movies, $14.99. I can't get, you know, I like the Cocoon movies. Even The Return. I liked The Return. There, I'll say it. Young Guns 1 and 2. This is interesting. The Young Guns 1 and 2 and underneath from the same seller is um, Species 1 and 2. And both of those lots are at a decent price. Let's go and have a look at what they've, what else they've got. I'll open the Species one because I like the Species movies. There's some thrillers and things like that. A couple of Austin Powers. Yeah, there's, there's a lot from the sellers coming up. But they that's that's nice to pair them in batches of two. And you keep the price down. You're keeping the, uh, the uh, postage relatively low as well. Uh, VHS Horror Bundle. What we got there? 
Um, no. So that one's that I get that one. They're the the Hellraiser one with the first four movies in it. Actually, that's not the first four. That's Hellraiser, Hellbound, Hellraiser Two. There's Hellraiser Three, Hell on Earth, and that's Hellseeker, the sixth film. Uh, is that on tape? VHS of Hellseeker. I've not seen one of those. I've seen them in I've seen them on American listings and in groups and stuff like that, but not an English one. It looks like it may be an NTSC tape. That one. It's on Friday the 13th here, so you've got the original £120 Warner Home Video. I get that that one has its uh, has a, a place in the market. Not sure about it being priced over 100 at present, just in current uh, financial climate for people, but that's a cool tape to have as the budget that we saw before. Spellbinder. Let's have a look at Spellbinder. That's uh, an interesting one. See, that's a thematically linked... Um, lot there um so we've got hollow man final destination and final destination 2 that i think that's three tapes that go well together um okay there's that one still there for 79.99 i've seen this batch before that is still there for 79.99 i don't think anyone's gonna gonna buy it i recognize a lot of stuff in that that i would want personally but not for 80 pounds um 16x rentals they're not like very well sought after films there there's things like dawn of the mummy and american commando ninja and things like that in there and that's not it's not the sort of thing i would um expect people to pay a lot for um so i wouldn't really wouldn't really get that one i would maybe if it was like 40 maybe because that would really bulk up the collection but there's not enough in it that i would really want the avatar version of street trash always good girl school screamers for 550 let's have a look at what's going on there the uh with the sellers other other listings oh there we go here is a good one here's a good one the uh, freddy's nightmares um the elm street tv series um it was brought out on rental tapes as well so suddenly it went from being just a few elm street movies to being loads of elm street tapes in video stores so i'm gonna have a look at that let's have a look at forbidden world as well forbidden world is a good one it's a small box rather than the big box i do prefer big box but that one's still pretty cool we've got Witchboard. Body can oh deadly spawn. That's Betamax. That's cool. Certainly don't see that around. Elm Street 5 big box extra. Oh, is that a big box? It looks like a small box, the Elm Street 5 one there. I'd say that's not worth 30 quid. The big box may well be uh, worth a bit more, but uh, not a small box. Okay, let's have a look at this one with the Xrental VHS Big Box Bundle 26 titles. Let's see what this has got in it. This is $42.99 plus £5 postage. Um, <laughs> I bought a vampire motorcycle, not one I want. Omen 4, The Awakening. That was terrible. That was terrible. A Sacred Flesh there. I get Sacred Flesh being 20 quid. I get why that would be sought after. Not one you see around a lot. Um, what else have we got here? As for Thousand Corpses on VHS, 50 quid. My Vampirella, I had that. I had that tape. Um, I'd heard about how terrible it was. It got Roger Daltrey in it, and it got Talisa Soto as, Vam as Vampirella. And I'm a big fan of uh, Vampirella and all the Harris Comics stuff. And even the um, the follow-on one, uh, Vampy, that was done in like 3D early CGI. Um, I like those. I wanted to see what, what the movie was like. I heard it was very, very kitsch, and I wasn't quite prepared for the level of kitsch that it uh, that it offered. Believe me, it was quite a level of, of kitsch. Um, but well worth the watch if you like very low-budget, cheesy uh, B-movies. A heck of a Roger Corman vibe about it. Um, what else have we got? We've got The Carrier. Avengers the Demon. The Witch, I had that. Um, the Witch, aka Superstition, I had that. I think I sold that off pretty cheap. That may even be that copy. I don't know. Um, wasn't one that really interested me at the time. So that's what it's brought me for bundles. Let's go and see what's, uh, what I've got in these tabs, and we shall uh, then we can move on and see if there's anything else. See what the price is doing in a regular tape dum. Tape dum? So, yeah, it's, and now oh, it's Anatomy 2, Children of the Corn 2, Final Sacrifice. Thankfully, that's not Urban Harvest. The third film, which is one of the worst things ever made. Um, Cube. Love the Cube movies. Dark Half. Lord of my man. Lord of Illusions, we've mentioned. I love Lord of Illusions. Um, Rage, Carry 2. I like that movie. Sleepwalkers, and sometimes they come back. So, we've got uh, three, four, 
five, six of those are related to Stephen King. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at the front of these. Yeah, I remember that Children of the Corn 2 tape very well. I couldn't sell it for ages, the copy I had. Um, well, director's cut of Lord of Illusions, that's well worth a look. See, there's, there's tapes there that are quite pricey on their own at present. That's not a bad batch. I don't uh, have a problem with that batch at all. Let's have a look at this next one we've got here. So, oh, it's more than those four. Let's have a look. So Platoon, Indiana Jones, the Temple of Dune, Fatal Attraction, Crocodile Dundee, Beverly Hills Cop, first one, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, one of my favorites, Pet Cemetery, Tommy Knockers, uh, Porky's Revenge, The Deer Hunter and Firestarter. That is a really good batch. You've got some big movies there. You've got some key 80s movies if you're into your 80s comedies like Planes, Trains and Automobiles, Beverly Hills Cop. There's absolutely fantastic. Of course, there's the interest in Indiana Jones. There's always going to be an interest in those tapes. Um, that's not a bad one. Porky's Revenge in a yellow case. You don't see that much. Um, you don't see that film around much at all. Uh, that's Porky's 3 and not Porky's 2, that one. But these are fantastic. As, as long as the tapes are in good nick, uh, good condition, Let's have a look I'm back at some of these. Yeah, that Porky's in the wrong case. Um, as long as the tapes are okay, then that looks like a really strong batch. So um, do check out bundles because you never know what you're going to find in them. There's some quality in that one. Species and Species 2, on the other hand, has Species 2 in it, which I know isn't everyone's favourite. Um, I like that movie. I enjoyed it, but I watch a lot of junk. I really do watch a lot of junk. Believe me. The... the um, I had the house to myself for a couple of nights and I went through all the weirdest, weirdest um, streaming apps we've got. The things that got really odd, unexpected, low budget, you know, self-made, um, self-made. Just like this, this era is equivalent of um, SRV movies. I've just noticed my logo is wrong there and it's hex. I'll move that a little bit just for my own. Just for my own uh, sense of well-being, although I was I will go nuts. There we go. That's better. That satisfied my OCD. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I found all these really weird um, movies streaming that way. They've got a really good poster. The blurb sounds really good, and then you watch them, and it's terrible. If you've no budget, you can still make something really, really good without a budget. Um, just know the limitations of what you've got at your disposal, and use those well. You know that it's possible to make something with no budget um come out really good so what else have we got in these tabs up here uh, so i was going to look at this other uh, sellers of items that one, this one here look at the explorers explorers good 80s um, kids movie good it's still a good watch for the family my bloody valentine earthquake big box weird science that's more like a 1050 that's got three bids on it so i totally understand why that's got bids on it that's a great tape. Um, Hindenburg, E.T. Surprised no one's bid on E.T. yet. Uh, big Box X Rental of Pretty in Pink. Marvellous. Uh, same cover as the as the mass market sell through one I had as a as a teenager, uh, but that's that would be great on uh, on Big Box. And these are not in bad. They're not in bad condition at all. There's Alien Resurrection. Love those hollow foil covers. Um, Misfits of Science. That's a fun one. Prison for a fiver. That's not bad at all. There's some really good ones. It's The Thing is $34.99. Of course, that's going to be higher. It's The Thing. That's definitely still going to have a market, even though it's a higher price. Really good stuff on that. Really good stuff. How much are they charging for society? I saw society down there. So we've got Suzanne on VTC. So £15 for a VTC tape in the uh, in the gold um, gold covers with the blue and yellow accents. That's not too bad for a, uh, a tape from that company. And society, $7.99. That's a good price for society if you've never seen society it's it's very hard to explain so let's see what else we've got in these tabs yeah that is indeed hellseeker what's been going on with that cover though that cover's cut hmm let's have a look in that one yeah there's that cover has been cut from an NTSC tape in a slipcase. That's a shame. So that's not a tape that you would be able to play on a UK machine. So that's PAL and NTSC tapes are the, are the American ones. So unless you've got a multi-region player, which I did have one, my old JC, JVC, not my JCB, um, was a multi-region and would play PAL and NTSC tapes. But do bear in mind, if you're looking at stuff like that and there's no BBFC um, age rating on it, 
do check to make sure that it's uh, not, not an, an NTSC tape that you won't be able to play. Those look pretty good though. Um, pretty good condition those, I like that. 288 for delivery, that's not bad. That's not bad at all for, for four tapes. Um, let's have a quick look at the other stuff they've got. Knight Rider, quality. Um, 46 pounds for Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood. The one that everyone supposedly hates, and yet it's got two bids on it and it's up to 46 quid. I like that movie. You know, it's the one that's like Jason versus Carrie. Don't see any problem with people wanting to, be, wanting to spend a bit more on that if they really want it. Go for it. Um, the A-Team TV movie. Awesome. Uh, Incredible Hulk TV pilot. That's a small box. Sort of see that having uh, um, some attention there. Excellent big box fun bundle where we've got there. Little Craze, Jumpy Jack, Flash, Highlander 2, Speed 2, and a couple that I don't recognise. Um, whatever floats your boat, really. 50 quid for the X rental of Friday 13th Part 2. It has its market. Not, it's, I'm not part of that market for, for something that price, but that is interesting. Her oh God. Exorcist 2, The Heretic, £15. No bids on it, but I'm not surprised with that because that was atrocious. It was really, really bad, that one. Um, some good stuff there, though. Some good stuff there. <laughs> final chapter. That was not the final chapter. Let's look at the Spellbinder that I found here. Oops. Let me close that one. Spellbinder. A nightmare of illusion and betrayal. Not one you see about much. I've seen it a few times on here. It may be the same copy. Uh, let's have a look at the sellers at other items. See what else they've got. So that seems pretty decent. Oh my god, I've forgotten about that movie. Re Welcome home, Roxy Carmichael. I um, got that in about 1995 or so and uh, enjoyed it. Mainly because it was like, oh, that when I had a rider picture looks nice on the cover. I was very shallow as a teenager. Um, Ross Meyer movies. I, I don't want to get this video taken down. I'm not opening that one. Uh, there's a Punisher. Um, Fiverr for the Punisher. 12 99 for... Um, the Dark Power, I like the Dark Power. It's ridiculous though. It's got like a, an old, um, an old Western star country, uh, an old Western movie guy, uh, Lash, Lash LaRue, I think, someone like that. And um, he destroys demons with a whip. Go for your life, dude. Um, always fun to see what else people have got. Death Stalker. And you thought your parents were weird. Dude, I am a weird parent. Repulsion. It's nice to know these things are out there. Like Girl School Screamers, you don't see that often. So when you see tapes that you don't see all the time, like the obvious ones, you go and check out what they've got on their uh, their other listings. Uh, oh, Graduation Day. That's a great tape. Another VTC tape. I never had a couple of those, but they were really, really cool. I always liked those. This is the... Let's go and have a look at the uh, these Freddy's Nightmares ones. I loved these. Uh, so that first one in the in the white cover that has a like a retelling of Freddy's origin in it. That's a really good one, uh, and it has also has um, two twins in it that are that come back in the second volume uh, in an episode called Sisters Keeper, which put them together. It's like a really good Nightmare on Elm Street movie, albeit made for telly. So it's, it's the TV effects and that. But if you put those two episodes together, they're a really good Elm Street movie. Um, Rock Me Freddy, Freddy's Mother's Day. I used to see these around and wonder what the hell was going on. Um, Saturday Nightmare Fever. The Dreams Bleed. It's the same image on the cover. It's a Miserable Life. And Safe Sex. That's a, that's a good batch. That's 100 quid. But to get those all together in relatively good condition is nigh on impossible. That's a really good batch. I love those. Could they have anything else? Let's find out. Yeah, not tape-wise anyway. A Britney Spears doll. Crazy. Right. Forbidden World. Let's have a look at their uh, other rhymes. I don't see Forbidden World around a lot. WWE Nintendo stuff. Been world God Muse. Not a fan. Sorry. Saw them once in nineteen ninety nine before they became huge and 
did not like them and it kind of coloured my opinion of them ever since but hey what do I know so this last bundle we've got here is this one for $42.99 there's 26 titles on it just at a glance there I see there's a there's a bond there's Stallone lockup there's ghost house now that ghost house in a photocopied cover there's Henry portrait of a serial killer there's romper stomper um there's some interesting tapes there. Let's see what we've got. Let's have a look close. So it's Living Daylights, 11 Days and 11 Nights, saucy. Um, accused Henry Sigh got Firefox is there. I like Firefox, saw that on TV uh, when I was a kid and just loved it. Oh, big plane. <laughs> um, loving a 45 is not bad. Yeah, that's not a, not a bad batch if you just want to fill a fill your collection out. Not a bad price for that, that many tapes either so let's just go and look at x rental horror vhs out of bundles just have a quick look to see what's going on with that well i've seen a few of these already in the earlier episode earlier in the episode um the last house on the left when you see a listing that says read you know where it says read description that usually tells me that there's something wrong with the tape like it's uh, moldy or damaged or you know it's got a different film on it or something so if you see like read do you make sure you check that out um i do find these these very weird in the in the glass in the glass boxes those are very strange yeah there's a lot of ones that we've seen already and uh, a lot of ones we've seen in previous videos like this hidden one uh yeah copy of demons 3 lots of copies of friday the 13th they're just not selling so with stuff that's that's not selling at all i'd oh 24.99 for creeperzoids i loved creeperzoids but that is too much for creepers oh, wait, it's out of my budget that's why i think it's too much <laughs> but they've they've got some good stuff on there as well always look for your uh, your bundles um look for stuff that may be cheap from other sellers don't just dive in and get a, a a tape or whatever you're after from the same from one seller just because you see it straight away see if there's anyone else that's selling it a bit cheap or in a different condition or anything like that so things are looking good tapes are out there some are selling some aren't some people are pricing things really well and some aren't and um yes i've got a new book coming out so all's well with the world balance has been restored vhs hit my brain too the revenge is out very soon do look out for some more news on that if you like the sort of thing where I talk about VHS tapes and retro stuff and occasionally other things uh, here on the Planet Hex channel, please do like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Till the next time, thank you for watching this episode of Planet Hex.